Welcome back to eFoldy Hub. Um, the short video today is just looking at the couple of maintenance tasks that you might want to do periodically on your eFoldy. Okay, so eFoldies are pretty much maintenance free, but the only two things that you might uh, need to do on a relatively regular basis are the tyres and the brakes. Um, so let's start with the tyres. The tyres are pneumatic, so they, they're filled with air and they're tubed. So very good, very good quality tyres. Really the only thing you need to do as a matter of course is keep the pressure um, correct and you just use a normal pump for that. Not one that's uh, at a garage because you'll pop the tyres, but just a normal um, uh, pump that you might use for your car or a push bike, something like that. And they are normal car valves, the normal large car valves. So they've all got little dust covers on. So the valves are the sticky out bits here. You simply take the dust cover off like that and then attach your pump like that so that you can blow it up. Blow it up to the required pressure, pop it off and pop the dust cover back on. And it's the same for both rear wheels and the front wheel. As far as tire pressures are concerned, it's, it's pretty much a matter of personal choice. The maximum pressure is about 30 PSI, um, but you'll notice there are pros and cons of having tire pressures slightly higher, as in high, because 30 is quite high for a, for a small um, vehicle like this, or having them slightly lower. So if you have them high, then obviously you probably need to um, adjust the, the, uh, the, the pressures less frequently, um, and the tires will wear at their kind of prescribed rate. So nice and slow, you get a lot of mileage out of your tires. If you are, for example, often out in the rain or you go over muddy areas um, or areas where the grip is challenging because these are, because of the nice high ground clearance, they're very, very good off-road on grass, for example. But if it's damp, personally, I would run the tires slightly less, um, with slightly less pressure in them. So maybe, 25, 22, 25 PSI. What that allows it to do is it'll sink slightly lower, the tires will squash slightly more and give more um, surface area on the, uh, on the ground and give you more grip. But it's very much a, a matter of personal choice. Anywhere between about 25 and 30 is absolutely perfect. Okay, so the other thing that you might need to do occasionally is make sure the brakes are adjusted correctly. Um, now there's only one brake, so it's nice and easy. So you've got your front brake, as we said, and for those of you that used to ride uh, push bikes, they are basically a, a set of push bike brakes. So the same logic. So they, they are a cable, and occasionally, as a, a cables get older and they're used quite a lot, particularly if the handbrake is left on quite a lot, um, it, they stretch very slightly. And this here is the adjuster. Very, very simple, it's simply your fingers. And all you do is you twist this bit away from the handlebar and that tightens the brake up. So when you get your e-foldy, it will be in its new position with no gap here between the sealing nut and the adjuster. And then if you find, for example, that when you put the handbrake on, it's not, the front gri brake isn't gripping enough because the brake isn't on hard enough because the uh, cable has stretched ever so slightly. It's very simple. It's always easier to adjust the brake cable when the brake is in its released position like that. You simply twist this away from you, which slowly tightens up the brake until you get it in the position that you like. And then when you've adjusted it, what you do is you just make sure that this um, uh, locking nut, locking uh, nut, is locked back against the black frame because that holds everything nice and securely. Because sometimes, as you uh, tighten the brake, this becomes a little bit loose. It twists at the same time and comes away from the body. So exact, that's exactly the same as on a pedal bike. And you simply tighten it up, nice and secure, and that's it. That's your brakes adjusted. Very, very simple. So I'll now loosen it because this is a relatively new e-foldy and the brakes are absolutely in their new position. So as base, just to run over that, as you twist this away from the body of the brake lever, so you tighten up the brakes. When you get to the required position, make sure, and you've done it like that, for example, 
just make sure that this nut is still nice and snug against the black area here and that's your brakes adjusted. Very, very simple. Um, there's no real other maintenance on the Foley. Specifically, there's no reason to uh, lubricate the front wheel because that has the integral electric motor in it, so it shouldn't be lubricated. And the rear wheels have high quality bearings on, which are, which are greased at a point of assembly, and they don't need any um, additional lubrication. The only thing that you might do if you take the Foldy out a lot in the rain, or perhaps a lot on in sort of inclement um, conditions, that sort of thing is, gets very dirty. You wash it or power hose it or something like that. Exactly again, the same as on a push bike, you might want just to put a dab of oil at the top and at the bottom of the brake um, cable, just to make sure that it stays lubricated. So little dab in there and just apply the brakes a few times to, to get the oil in and a little bit right at the top in here and just apply the brakes a little bit like that. But otherwise, e folders are pretty much maintenance free. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video from uh, e Foldy Hub. Um, plenty more videos uh, on the channel, so great idea to subscribe. Uh, to the eFoldy Hub channel and also you can follow us on Facebook so if you go to Facebook and just find the eFoldy Hub channel.